In this problem, we have an exponential function, g of x equals 1 third to the x minus 2 power, and we're supposed to graph that and give its domain and range using interval notation. So when I approach a function like this, I think the first thing I usually do is make a chart of values and just plug in a few values uh, and see what we get. Usually, I start with, in an exponential, I start with 0 for x, uh, because anything to the 0 power is 1. But this time, we've got this minus 2 up here. So the value for x that would make this equal 0 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So if I put in a 2 for x, I've got 1 third to the 0 power, which is 1. In an exponential function where you just have x as your power, you've always got the point uh, 0, 1. But here, we've got the point 2, 1 on our graph. So what this minus 2 does, essentially, is just move the graph over to the right two spaces. If you had a positive value here, it would move it to the left. So that's one way that an exponential graph uh, can be translated. Let's get a few more points. So let's, um, let's try 0 for x and see what happens. If I put in 0, I get a negative 2 for the power. So I raise uh, 1 third to the negative 2. I flip it upside down and then square it. So this is going to equal 9. So 0 is at 9, 2, 4, 6, 7. I'm already off my graph. Uh, and we could put keep putting more negative values in. x could be any of these negative values out to negative infinity, and it's just going to go higher and higher there. And then let's take a point um, to the right of this point here. So let's put in a negative 3. Sorry, let's put in a positive 3. 3 minus 2 is 1, so that's just 1 third. So the point 3 gives a value of 1 third for the function. And we could do some more, but you can already see the, the general shape of this exponential function. The higher the power goes here, the closer this is going to get to 0. It's never going to get to 0, though. It's never going to um, go below 0. There's no way you can put 1 third to any power and get a negative number out of it. So we get the asymptote along the x-axis. So this line just keeps getting closer and closer to 0. And then like all exponential functions, it just shoots way up here. So there is a sketch of the graph. Now let's think about the domain and the range. Remember, the domain is all x values. And we can put in anything for x. All of these negative values have values um, in the function, no problem. All of the positive values give a value for the function, no problem. They're just really big or really small values. So the domain here is negative infinity to infinity. You can put in anything for x. The range, you can probably see from the graph that this never drops below 0. And it never really reaches 0 either. Uh, zero, the value y equals 0 is the asymptote for this function. So the, the y values are going to go from 0, but not including 0. So I use the, uh, the rounded bracket here, the parentheses. And it's going to go all the way up to infinity. So that is how to graph uh, an exponential function and give its domain and range.